We're back with the Speaker of the House, Bob DeLeo, in the OTR Pub Quiz. Question three, who was the last Republican to serve as the Massachusetts Speaker of the House? We'll put the, the, the multiple choice on the screen. Charles Gibbons, Christian Herter, Leverett Saltonstall. Leverett Saltonstall. Charles Gibbons, 53 to 54. That's the last time. You know, not, if I may, you know, 1950 was the first Democrat by the name of Tip O'Neill. Um, so. That's the that's the that's the last question. So you got that. <laughs> one. So, that you nailed the last question because that was the last question. The Democratic right. speaker just before Gibbons was Tip oh, O'Neill, yeah. as you said. See, so you, so, get, you wow. got the question so, before so, we got so, you know, you know so what he's working three out for. Of four. Though. Yeah, but you were yeah. looking for an extra half on the other one. I know you. <laughs> it's not going to give it to you. You did a great job. Okay, I'm going to go back a couple of months here. Um, we want to ask you about Representative Paul McMurtry. He was accused of grabbing the backside of a female legislator. Our question is simply this. Was he cleared of the allegation? I know you don't want to talk too much about the details, but was he a, um, cleared of the allegation because the incident never happened or was there insufficient evidence? I think that um, that's a great question and I'd have to say first of all we had a special committee that was formed to you know take a look at it. I think that was the first um, time that we tested our process. We spent a considerable amount of time in, in putting forth something wherein uh, people would feel comfortable, shall we say, in coming forward with any allegations of uh, abuse or retaliation or, or whatnot. Having said that, the uh, committee issued an 18-page report uh, uh, clearing him of that. And I, I, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, there was a finding that, 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 that there was no evidence of, of, of any wrongdoing on the behalf of, uh, of Paul McMurtry. So the incident never happened, is that what you're saying? I, I, I believe that's the way it was interpreted by the, um, by the, by the committee. Let's talk about higher education right now. There's a move to actually freeze tuition and, and fees the state university and colleges for five years. What do you think about that? I think Did you support uh, it? Obviously, um, I think this is one of the major issues. Well, you know, when you talk about student debt and whatnot, both here in Washington and here in here in Massachusetts, um, I think that uh, you know whether you look at the house budget uh, right now, we you know we up the amount of funds, obviously giving to our state colleges and state universities. We know the importance that they play in terms of obviously mm -hmm. the economy. Um, you know, having said that, I think that we, we do the best that we can in terms of providing each and every year additional funds. Um, whether we're going to, the budget was gone on mm -hmm. to the Senate, we'll see what happens um, uh, there. I think it's always our desire to keep tuition as low as we can. I think in addition to what we do is at it, the state level or at the federal level, it, uh, I think it's necessary could, for UMass to take sort of a, and a look in terms of how they... Could the House take it up this year? Yeah. We, we, yes, we, 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 the, the legislation, yeah. it's possible. Yeah, it's possible, okay. Okay, hands-free cell phone use. Um, I know you support mandating no um, hands, at all hands-free cell phone use by drivers. Is this going to pass the House this year, and do you think there could be real enforcement of it if it passes? Yes and yes. Um, I look forward to it. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's one of the um, issues that I plan to talk to um, uh, Chairman Strauss and former Chair Wagner just next week, so you're ahead of the game in terms of uh, in terms of that. So you think uh, the Senate and the Governor will go along with uh, this? I do. That you know that this is something which I, I I've heard. Uh, I think one of the major objections that have been placed in the past has been you know uh, the question of uh, you know some of the minority members that are concerned that you right. know uh, the 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 enforcement right. particularly mm -hmm. on people of color right and so I think that if we're talking about not only the public safety aspect but I think we also have to have to have a discussion relative to that issue as well Byron rushing was was it was very big in bringing that to our attention, as was Jeff Sanchez. Mr. Speaker, so much. We, we're grateful, Good so grateful for you to see you. You Good did a great job you. in the OTR Pub Quiz. Thank great you. Great to see you, as always. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. You Thank you very much for coming, Mr. Speaker. Our thanks Thank to the you. Speaker of the House, Bob DeLeo. The Sunday Roundtable's up next here on OTR. And just how influential is Massachusetts Congressman Richard Neal right now? Take a look at the video and look who's prominently displayed. We'll talk about it.